Bitcoin ATMs. They are a thing, in case you didn't know. Derek Meany is the uh, Director of Sales and Marketing with CoinSource, here to talk a little bit about uh, Bitcoin ATMs, how they work, some of the risks involved, things like that. So Derek, thanks for being with us. I think a good place to start here first is for those that aren't familiar, which I know that there are a lot of people that aren't, how uh, do these ATMs work? Uh, well, pretty similar to a traditional ATM, uh, it's as simple as uh, customers create a one-time uh, enrollment and they create an account with CoinSource uh, just for your basic uh, know your customer uh, information. They provide uh, the front of their ID, back of their ID, and a selfie. Um, and they create an account within our uh, own in-house software solution that we built. And from that point on, they're off and running. They can use, uh, we're in 44 states right now, and they can use uh, any one of our Bitcoin ATMs. And the transaction average time is about 60 seconds from start to finish. So they'd walk up to the machine, uh, they'd enter in their phone number, which kind of acts as their account number, if you will. They'll get a two-factor authenticator code just to make sure that they put in the right phone number. And then it's as pretty much straightforward as a one, two, three. It's uh, where would you like to send your Bitcoin? And you can either enter in your Bitcoin wallet address alphanumerically, or you can scan your Bitcoin wallet's QR code. There's tons of different apps in the app store uh, that you can use to uh, for a, a number of different Bitcoin wallet apps. And uh, our machines and our software were built out to where we're entirely wallet agnostic. So you can use, our customers can use whichever wallet they feel most comfortable with and whichever one they prefer. All right, so Derek, uh, talk a little bit about what do you think the biggest encumbrance to actually using Bitcoin is in, in the way that you would use it, say a traditional credit card? Well, see, um, I, I definitely would say uh, First of all, there's different demographics, but the primary use case right now for Bitcoin isn't really for buying things such as, say, a cup of coffee that you would with a credit card. Um, the majority of, uh, of our customers are really using it as a store of value, um, as an investment. Uh, so let's just say, for example, millennials who are, we're seeing a, a, definitely a trend where they're kind of shifting away from traditional financial institutions for their store of value for their funds. They're putting it into Bitcoin because of the, uh, the growth rate of what we're seeing Bitcoin and its value. Um, you've, we've got uh, baby boomers. We've got a huge demographic of baby boomers who are using our machines because they're wanting to diversify their uh, retirement and their trust portfolios, and as well as the unbanked and underbanked that don't even have credit cards because they don't have the proper banking or the necessary banking uh, to even have a credit card. So these demographics aren't necessarily looking to buy, you know, their groceries with Bitcoin or, or like I said, a cup of coffee. Um, those, you know, we, we're seeing hundreds of thousands of merchants um, year after year uh, starting to accept Bitcoin for those things. But right now, that's really not the primary use case for Bitcoin that we're seeing, at least from our customers. All right. And Derek, expand a little bit about uh, on transaction fees. You know, how, how are transaction fees, do you feel, limiting the adoption of Bitcoin and, and possibly other currencies? And we have been, you know, fully transparent and pride ourselves on that transparency from day one with our customers that you're going to get Bitcoin at the average lowest index price for what Bitcoin is actually valued at at that time. And you're also going to be getting it at the lowest rate possible. So um, transaction fees aren't that huge of a problem right now because people are, uh, aren't using Bitcoin to buy or sell things. They're really using it to save. Um, and there's already a second layer solution in the work, uh, like the Lightning Network. Um, Square's Cash App has actually already unveiled plans to integrate Lightning Network. Um, ATM transaction fees, you know, uh, from going from wallet to wallet, there are no transaction fees. You're just pretty much paying a fraction of, of a percentage with, uh, with mining fees. It's kind of, if you will, by uh, wiring money or transferring of that sort. Okay, excellent. And, and Derek, finally, let me ask you about, of course, I would be remiss not to in terms of security. Why would anyone, uh, you know, if they asked you, why would they want to use Bitcoin given the high risk of, of hacking or wallet loss, which we've no doubt uh, heard and, and read about on, on many occasions? Well, you know what? Bitcoin is, uh, is actually very special because you get to pick your level of security. Um, if you want total security, you can actually take the Bitcoin that you just bought from a coin source Bitcoin ATM machine and you can uh, put it on a hardware wallet, a cold storage wallet to where it's not on the Internet. Um, some of which uh, one of which I use actually personally is even electromagnetic pulse proof. Um, so it's, it's entirely impenetrable from hacking because it's offline. And also we sell Bitcoin directly to customers. There's, we don't store any funds and we don't hold any funds from our, our customers. Some operators actually do. And it's just sitting there on an exchange and exchanges are definitely susceptible to hacking. 
Um, you can uh, uh, find, again, in the App Store, like I mentioned earlier, uh, a number of different decentralized wallet apps out there that totally keep your information and your Bitcoin entirely in your hands. Not even the company that's offering that wallet has access to it. You and only you as the holder and the consumer has that access. All right, Derek, we certainly appreciate you being with us today and your insight on that. And for much more on Bitcoin, make sure you check out Tech Republic. Thanks for watching.